Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You know the length that it's taken me to get the green stars in the later ones? No, I kinda I'm kinda forgetting that, you know, we're getting at the harder worlds here. <laughs> Space Storm Galaxy. <laughs> so yeah, when, when, I, when I kept saying that I was doing like eight, nine stars apart, that was on the earlier worlds, so yeah, I think it's more acceptable to do a little bit less if it's, if it's gonna take me longer to even get through a more difficult level, so... <laughs> I shouldn't be so hard on myself for not getting as many stars as I was in the earlier... <laughs> in the earlier parts. Alright, green star right up there off the bat. So obviously we've got to use the power of... Oops, the power of the... Well, I guess I can just do it this way too. <laughs> power of the uh, blue stars here... Well, they're... Eh, well, they're called pole stars, and try and get up there somehow. Um, well, uh, <laughs> let's try doing it from here and then going straight up and releasing. Uh, is that enough? It might be. Oh, not quite. <laughs> so let's try that again, but with a different straighter angle. Try it there. Woo! And, oh, that's got plenty of height. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to hear Bowie Base Galaxy music again! It's coming on and tearing up! <laughs> and you know, it's gonna be there soon! Oh, jeez! I, I might need to grab a tissue. <laughs> just, just the thoughts of such an amazing tune. Flowing back into my earbuds. It it brings emotions to me. <laughs> okay, I'm not messing around. <laughs> well, okay, I'm not messing around that much. I mean with the commentary. Green star number two. Please be the music, please be the music. I think it's the music. Because they're going over there. I see it on the one of those support beams already. I might just be able to do that sneaky snake wall kick this you know get up there really quick we'll see though oh there's the music oh. yes I'm not slowing down time no 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 slowing down time we must hear the music in its full glory <laughs> well yeah look it does look like I can indeed just sneak up there using my wall kick method oh I, I, I thought that was the door opener for some reason I was just blabbing to myself, but no, no, that's useless to me when I want to hear the tune. <laughs> Alright, so we made it to the green star. But we, we barely heard any of the music. <sighs> Fine. I'm not gonna deal with copyright. <laughs> well, now that I, I'm getting green stars faster than before, so it looks like this might be another... Eight star part at this rate. Who knows? Might might come up to a, some other incredibly insurmountable or near insurmountable green star. And well, 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 we'll see. <laughs> Space storm number three. And well, green star number three. <laughs> Not regular star number three or something like that. But yeah, just one more to go and. Wait, 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 will we be able to at least hear the music for this last one? Please tell me. Please tell me we will. I'm begging you. I think the last green star is actually on that structure with the, um, the, the spinning platforms and stuff like that. I could be wrong, though. Ah, oh, the music! Yes! Yes! It's just such a perfectly encompassing theme for the game. <laughs> Oh, 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 falling out, falling out in the space. <laughs> uh, this is a way to do it, I suppose. Just to go like that. <laughs> Star bits. It's just the icing on the cake. <laughs> All right, no hitting slow down switches anymore here. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna do this like a pro. No! Ooh. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's not a pro. Not a schmo. Oh dang it. 
I'm not getting through this like a pro, am I? Uh, but anyway, I'm taking the long way around here, just, just to be sure. Because there might be some sort of twinkle around the corner somewhere that, you know, just going around the perimeter will allow me to get an idea of, you know, just, just in case. Plus, I can listen to the music. <laughs> now, over here, normally, um, like, you see how these structures here, they would go all the way down over, yeah, you just go onto that one to get the second green star there, but I just did that using the cheesy way, which, which works just fine, as you've seen, but that's not the... That's not the intended way they wanted you to get that, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so... Um... Uh, I'm still not really hearing... The powers of the green. Unless I'm just confusing it with sparks or something like that. And it's, like, mixed in with the... The sound and stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this without slowing it down, like I said that you could do. Oh yeah, like a pro. <laughs> A little bit different view because that's the regular star up there. Uh, I don't think we ever had the. <laughs> I don't know if you can get like pinch killed here. I don't. I don't think I ever did that before. Like you know how you can get pinch killed um, if you're stuck between two platforms coming together and whatnot. I don't think that's actually a thing here. Uh, I'm just gonna give myself a little. Topwards view here. Because uh, when you go on top of ye old top man, you can get a nice high overhead view. That's not quite uh, quite useful though, at that angle at least. Uh, whoa! <laughs> don't grab the star. Do not grab. Well, don't grab that particular star. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that thing is. <laughs> hmm, I'm just gonna go around in circles, I guess. And uh, I'm not really getting getting any sort of leeway there against the flow of traffic. Let's go down here. Uh, now this is perfectly silent. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, a little fun fact about these, by the way. Uh, when you're transported to these from a warp pipe, these are these are all actually in the very same galaxy that these pipes are in. It just said you can't actually see where they are because they're so far away. Well, some of them you can, but most of the time you can't. Um, oh, I'm actually hearing... Oh, maybe that's the thing I'm hearing, but yeah, um... If someone showed, like, you know, they had some sort of, like, infinite floating code, and they were able to get by the death barrier and stuff like that, and they, they show that you could actually enter those bonus area type things from the other side, if you were to, whoopsie doodle. <laughs> if you were to, uh, I'm gonna die now. I'm gonna die now. If you were to actually be able to float over there, because there's no actually, no actual collision from the outside, but there is on the inside. So you could actually go inside, say, a sphere on one side, but you can't exit the sphere from the inside unless you use the pipe. <laughs> oh shoot! Well, uh, ye well. Uh, I'm gonna end up in the lava again. Or not. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wonder... I think it's like off the edge where those bubbles are going. Oh, there is actually something over there. Because I thought maybe, um... There might be something over there because the bubbles kind of... Kind of mask the sound of the star. I need to get somewhere that I can actually aim myself towards it though. So I want to get my... There we go. Uh, okay, which... Oh, a bubble goes straight through it. Is it this one? Yeah, it's the far right one. So I just go in this bubble and victory is mine? Is it is this true? Yes it is. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> I don't think I did that before when I got that star before. I, I think whenever I see one floating in the abyss, because when I always you know, there's all those cheapo depo ones that you gotta get to from a distance, like either on top of something high, you long jump to it or whatnot. I don't think I, I would have thought of that before this particular playthrough. <laughs> Just putting that out there. So I think I thought of something new there, at least, I mean for myself. I'm sure someone else thought of that before. Uh, not me though. Okay, let's do go ahead and do Boo Moon, I suppose. Oh, I'm still too close to the TV. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I think, I think it's gonna be hidden in the haunted house. You know, the first one with the the secret doors and stuff like that when you when you get near a wall and whatnot. So yeah. Oh, well, there's one over there, but I don't think that's the first one. That is the long jump off of the pop-up book one. Uh, well, yeah, I don't see a green star around here, but I might hear one. <laughs> I'll just go around. <laughs> follow, follow Luigi, I suppose. I think that, that Luigi is the one that leads me to the secret star. Uh, nah, man, there never seems to be a green star in any of the bonus places. Okay, so there's not a green star there, like I thought. Uh, can I go? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 I just see it in the background there. Look at that. Look, see that below the moon? Yeah, it spawns when you get close to it, so that means I gotta reach the moon. So, we gotta go through this. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's not that dangerous or anything like that. Just as long as you don't, you know, try and shortcut stuff in a stupid way. <laughs> That's okay with me how that turned out. Just as long as I don't get knocked into the poison. <clears throat> and yeah, I think that's the, the place that I'm going to end up at first. Before I said pop up book. So let's just go on ahead. Get a triple one up surprise. <laughs> Might, might be useful for when I uh, tackle that moon over there. Uh, oh, I guess I could go over here now. <laughs> Don't have to wait any longer. Just drop on down, let the gravity fly. I bet you could actually long jump to that um, rather than get the one-ups uh, if you're accurate enough. But it's kind of kind of a blind jump. So it, it's it's for those speed running memorizer pro type people. <laughs> Don't need the comment medal. Don't need to take the secret path. I don't think. All I need to do is get that monstrosity below the abyss. Ready? Okay, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> I was ready to spin, and I actually did start doing a little spin as I was collecting the green star, but I don't think it actually affected my trajectory towards it or anything like that. I was just able to guide myself because I got myself close enough to the edge of the moon. And, you know, how you can adjust yourself the mid-air and stuff like that. Yeah, that's basically what I did for the most part. But you can still use a spin there to catch it if you need to. Oh, that was Star 2. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So then is Star 1 on the secret path? Because it's technically uh, before the star with the moon? It might be. <laughs> because remember on uh, the snake block area, there was that really out of reach star type place? Maybe. So, you know, it led over to the, uh, yeah, that little mansion off to the side there. So if I were to say take that path it'll take me over to that but I'm not sure if that'll lead me over to green star 3 or green star 1 perhaps 1 is what I'm thinking because it, it would technically be as I said a spot before you would reach star number 2 because you have to actually do that jump to reach star 1 then but I, I don't know if there's even a star there I could just be uh, I mean I do hear something around here but I don't I don't know if that's hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually around here or if it's directly above me and I can't switch the camera because the camera sucks in this game at times. <laughs> I don't think Galaxy 1 had nearly that much camera issue per se. Well, then again, in Galaxy 1, um, you didn't really have to look around in all sorts of obscure areas. You could just always just move around to wherever you might need to go. And I'm going for it. I don't feel like waiting any longer. <laughs> okay, so I am definitely hearing some sort of twinkles going on around this area, but I don't know exactly if it's a green star. Well, I mean, I guess it's probably a green star, but it, or if it's maybe like some sort of bonus thing that I'm confusing. But yeah, you go 
past this thing if you remember, and then you go wait for it a little bit, and you can do this, and then you go along with this. But I think this is just going to take me to the uh, regular star, and not the... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh! Well, actually, I am hearing the twinkle of a green star over there, so... It might actually be... Oh, jeez. It might actually be somewhere around there. Unless it's... I still... Mm, there's just no, no place whatsoever I can change that, can I? But it sounds like it's right above this particular area. Because we, obviously you didn't see any, like, shadows or anything like that indicating it was... Um, on this side, I mean, that you, you know, that was above that side, per se, because when the gravity is flipped, so are the shadows, for whatever reason. <laughs> it, it, it even affects the light. <laughs> Thanks to that Mario's floaty jump, that's actually uh, pretty easy to aim for, so maybe you don't need to have super speedrun memorization man to uh, pull that off. <clears throat> All right. So, where should I be looking? <laughs> I'm feeling this is like a a guide moment sort of thing, right? Where I could really use a guide somewhere around here. I hear it in my left earbud, so maybe I'm just gonna have to jump off of the ledge somewhere. Maybe. Uh, well. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. No, I didn't really hear it anywhere there. <laughs> At least in the direction I was going, so maybe it's bottom left or bottom right from that point. It's just so so trial and error-y, and since I can't see the full range of the screen, and you might be able to, perhaps, you're actually seeing where it is and I'm not. <laughs> but who knows? Oh wait, I, I can skip ahead this right. <laughs> yeah, that's much better. <laughs> It takes a lot of the waiting out of the snake blocks. I wonder what else I can cheese to save time on the snake blocks here, because there is this little zigzag here, but I might be able to go in between the uh, ghosts over there and get over to this type area there, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see any greenies over there. And going over. <laughs> okay. We are going to... oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. <laughs> we are going to hopefully not die. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna go straight down here. Ah! Uh, that was not helpful. <laughs> not even with the camera flip. Yeah, I don't really know how I'm even supposed to look for that. Uh, I'm gonna go... Back to the map and replay it up to the first launch star. And then maybe see if I can get a better view as to where it might be on my way down into the swampy area. Alright, we're gonna look, we're gonna look, and I didn't really see anything. Hmm. Hold on a sec. I wanted to get a higher, higher vantage point there, that was useless. <laughs> I don't know, I really don't know. You can go on the first person view on the house, but that does not really help because you're on the other side of the planet. <laughs> So you can't actually see the swampy area. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing here. I'm gonna continue on this path like I did before, but this time I'm not gonna use my ears to look for where it is. I'm just gonna use my eyes and kind of skim around here as I am trying to survive the snake block rampage here. Oh. Well, that's not gonna that's not gonna help me survive the snake block rampage. All right, trying it again. It's my only lead, so of course I've got to try it again. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, that must be where it is. Okay, so I guess I just didn't go far enough to actually be able to see it or something like that. Dang, that took me a while to find. <laughs> I'm definitely using cuts for that star. I think that was one. It's gotta be one, right? Yeah, okay. Because it did come before number two in the star area order type thing. Oh, and yes, yes, I realize now that the, the secret area didn't lead to the vertical haunted house type place. It led to the, um, 
Uh, just this just star at the end of the snake blocks. I don't know why I thought that this there was a split path there of galaxies, I mean planets or something like that, but I don't know, maybe I had too many green stars on the mind. I've had too many star bits. <laughs> So we know that's where green star number three is, so it's just a matter of speedy running our way through the level then, I suppose. Yes. So yeah, we already touched on the ghost Luigi there, because he, he just shows where the secret path is, or or not. It's not really well designed how it was done, but yeah. <laughs> so I don't have to show anything ghost Luigi related. Uh, definitely, definitely get the checkpoint so you don't have to trek through little haunted house portion every time. <laughs> uh, so no getting an octoboo in the face. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how I can skip through this a little bit quicker than I have been doing. Collect like the first four notes of this, and then long jump off that over here. <laughs> It's like maybe five, collect the first five notes and then long jump at, at the sixth note or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that works nicely. <laughs> and I'm just gonna end up just taking the regular path this time because of the, uh, the whole other two paths, you know, at the, uh, the moon as well as the, uh, secret path are clear, so it's just now a matter of getting ourselves to the finish line, where the pop-up house is. Whoa, it's a scary star, but not as scary as the one under the moon! Woo! Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. So. So. Let's go. <laughs> we have begun the run! Of destiny! I don't even know how I should be aiming for this. Uh, I guess from the top of the house? Maybe? Might be? I don't know. At the very least, I know I can just stand up here, and then when it flops back over, you just end up on top of the ledge. Okay, and I'll try a long jump. Yeah! Okay, got it. <laughs> no! As I said, it's like, no, I cut out a lot of footage, even though I'm at like 30 minutes now, I'm <laughs> gonna do two more stars, just because the pacing is gonna look faster otherwise in the video. So the <laughs> Voila! And... go 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 go! <laughs> I'm really glad that I decided to try the snake blocks <laughs> at the secret path. Upside Dizzy Galaxy! I mean, just imagine how long I could have been if I kept trying other paths. I would have never found the green green star. <laughs> uh, green star one. And begin wherever it might be. I'm pretty sure it's near the beginning type place, like the first, like like like, like relatively close to the beginning, if I remember correctly. Not on the outside, of course. You can't do anything on the outside. Yes. Even. Even the pipe says, oh no, you're not going outside, and it just sucks itself back into the ceiling. <laughs> Alright, out of my way! Star bits? Oh, no star bits. So sad. So sad. So yeah, here's the green star coming up, as you can hear by the twinkles. But it's a matter of where... Well, if I could sneak up there, like <laughs> a little shortcut. No, no, I'm not that good, apparently. Uh, so yeah, it's coming up. You can hear it. Eh, somewhere. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, whatever. Um, it's got to be above the. Everyone, everyone out of my way! Everyone out of my way! It's got to be above the platforms. Those platforms are difficult to actually manage to get. You know, like in a corner or something like that. Yep, there it is. Okay. So, how do I do that? <laughs> that is the question. That is the puzzle. Uh, I could just like, well, to say I could just like get, launch myself using one of those, perhaps, maybe, but I'm not really sure about that. I'm gonna have to do like a double jump to get in to one of the gravitational fields while it's nearing the edge and let gravity flip me over. Whoops, I keep getting like right off the edge and then I don't do my double jump properly. Okay, flippy. Oh, really? Okay, a double jump and a spin. <laughs> Just a little extra height needed. One, two, spin, and 
Okay, that worked. Yes, yeah, see, they give you a pretty decent amount of momentum, because it's like falling speed. Just as long as you get, like, somewhere in the middle or somewhere on the low side of them as it's flipping you over, and it just zoop, like that, as you transition between the two gravitational fields in a infinite loop. You kind of, you've seen me do that before, uh, when I got myself stuck after a spin or something like that, and then you just keep going loop, loop, loop at the same rate. Anyway. Upside Daisy again, one more star, and it will not be out of order. <laughs> Ready? Prankster Comet to tab. We've heard this many times. <laughs> so many times, so many times. I just wanted to mash at the second star, or third star that I've been to these places, or even the first one, just to keep on going. But it doesn't let me until that little tiny green star cutscene ends. <laughs> All right, speed run time ish. <laughs> Just gonna go over like that. There we go. That's a little bit faster, I think. Yeah, voila. You're going down. I'm going up. I'm gonna actually go like this. Yeah, look at that proness. And oh, well, that's another way to get the, that green star over there. I didn't think of that before. Use the gravitational field at the other one. <laughs> Uh, wait, am I hearing two? I hear another one around here. Uh, let me go and take a look-see around over here. Uh, oh, there's- oh, they're really close together! Okay, good to know. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip-flop around like that, and then get on top of this- Oh, I thought the field doesn't go that high, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say, get on top of this box, use this, get up there. There. <laughs> yeah! And I tapped the chair with my Wii Remote, but it's okay, it was just a tap. <laughs> and there we go. Three more galaxies complete. Whew, much quicker than the other ones. 200 stars. Looking good. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I continue my green star excursions, because we, we still have no other choice in that regard. 